The financial crisis of the past decades exposed important problems in the EU's economic and financial governance architecture, poor coordination between the member states and a lack of an effective bank oversight. The Banking Union was created in 2014, aiming to fix these issues and to protect taxpayers and prevent future crisis spillovers. The Banking Union is founded on three main pillars. The first pillar is the single supervisory mechanism, which is a supervisory system composed by the European Central Bank and the national competent authorities. The second pillar is the single resolution mechanism, a uniform framework for restructuring banks aiming to protect taxpayers. The third pillar is the European Deposit Insurance Scheme, which is not yet in place, but that in principle will aim to create a single deposit insurance system to safeguard individual depositors across the EU. Despite the banking union being an important step in the construction of the economic and monetary union and the process of financial integration in the EU, its completion continues to encounter important obstacles, including disagreements between the participating countries regarding the establishment of the European Deposit and Insurance Scheme and concerns about the adequacy of the existing rules to effectively manage potential failures in the Eurozone major banks.